Hey guys, Marshmallow Jump here, and today I've got some more Frost Grieve for you. So here I just used the soldier pack again, like I told you on previous videos, like how I built my figures. And I'm just gonna show off three that I made to finish off my warband yesterday. So they had to set a bit with glue. But here we go. He's got I've got a little thief here. He's got his backpack for all the stuff he's stolen. Got his nice little robe so he can run around fast. Cool hat. And a torch if he needs it. Well, yeah, a torch so like if there's I don't know. If it's like a dark house or something, it could just like flick it on. Hopefully not burn the house down. Or alert anyone in the house or what am I on about? It's ruins. So you can go down and find it and just be like, hey, that's pretty cool, let's grab that kind of thing. So yeah, that's him. I'm just gonna turn him around a bit so you can see him. Very nice. You can go back there now. So yeah, we've got like an adventuring thug. You can tell from how he looks kind of scared on his face but he's quite an adventurous one and he's he's got his lantern and sword so he's like a bit weary about what's like uncertain about what's going to be down there so he's like holding his sword right in front of him so he can just stab it straight away but he's a thug he don't steal things so that he hasn't really got much on him he's got a few things on his belt you probably can't see him very well but yeah, he's got some things on there. Very nice. And here we've got a team player guy. <laughs> Don't know if you can see, it's probably too blurry. But, he's got a thumbs up. <laughs> got a nice little battle axe. Cool beard. Very stylish. He's got a few things on his belt, like the last guy. <laughs> he is, yet again, a thug. So, very easy to make these figures from like the Frostgrave character pack or whatever it is, like soldiers pack. I know it's like barbarian ones, but I just I'm just using normal one for the moment because, you know I might as well make the most out of this one before I'm to buy another one because they do cost a bit. Cause, but for figures they are quite cheap. But um yeah, what I do before I stick the parts together, I get like blue tack and test them after I've cut them out you have to get like a what's it called now like a little knife thingy and cut off the rough bits so it can actually stick well Cause as you can see I must have missed a bit or something because there's a little gap in between his arm and his torso there but um yeah I'm gonna show you all my guys when they're painted up but I cut this one a bit too short on the torch because damn it's that sharp. But yeah. Just do blue tacking if you are gonna do the figures before yet yeah, glue them together is what I recommend because then you can see it and it might not work otherwise. So yeah, this one were quite like this one worked hardest because I did the most on it. Like on other figures I've done loads, but I'm running out of bits and pieces so there's not as much to work with or the pieces don't work with what character they are there is even so yeah to get this backpack on to get that little thing on there to get his arm his arm stick his torch into his arm stick that on stick head on and stick him onto the base so a lot of stick in there so yeah not really much else I can give you tips with to be honest don't be a plank and use prit stick or some crap like that because it's not gonna work whatever you do please don't um you need strong glue though but you get really nice results from the figures as you can see well I think so anyway I really like some of these parts I mean I love how there's different swords and this one's like got all like the little indents in there so it's obviously been used and worn out so 
Yeah, soon I'll show you painted ones, but the weather's not that good lately, so when it's a nice sunny day, you can like spray the figures, then paint them, and I'll show you what I've done. Quick heads up though about the painting. If the paint's terrible, I'm sorry. I've only done painting once before, it was when I was very young, and it didn't go very well whatsoever. I tried it on the Tyranids from Warhammer 40k, which I love. Like Tyranids. But then it just came out crap. It really did. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Very short. Well, it's five minute odd, so it might be six minute. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Um, next time I might be doing some customs that aren't Frostgrave, probably. So see you guys next time. Bye!